All right, so it's um, Thursday morning and uh, I'm on my way to Max Employment because I'm on Centrelink, New Start Allowance, and I've been on that for uh, quite a few years now. Um, originally I was on it, well, because I was a fuck up and a drunk, and then I was on it because I was at university and uh, Centrelink doesn't recognize study unless you're doing, I think it's like 20 hours a week, which is quite a bit of study, and I was only doing like nine. Um, so anyway, so I was on Centrelink for that, and uh, that finished like you know, a couple of years ago. So I've been on Centrelink ever since, and they pay my rent, which is a bit, you know, I feel bad about that. So I've really got to get my ass in the gear. Well, I mean, I've been getting my ass in the gear. I've been kind of getting off alcohol, over alcohol addiction, the last few years now. But now I really need to kind of stop fucking around. And, um, you know, I've, uh, just gone on to a three month alcohol free stint which will then carry on after that um, but three months is like achievable and realistic and it's kind of conceivable as well like you know what three months feels like so it doesn't just feel like saying oh I can't drink for the rest of my life and it doesn't really click so you kind of ignore it it doesn't feel right but three months feels like yeah I can do that so you do it right so anyway so not drinking at the moment it's only the fifth of uh, January and we're already back to work um, so staying organized and uh, getting off Centrelink that's the plan now the plan is to get off Centrelink right I've given myself three months um, that means I'm, I'm I need to start work right away which I have uh, doing design work which I'm doing working from home which means I can charge like 50 bucks an hour to start with. Um, so the, the plan, the idea is to do three days a week worth of work from home, um, which accumulates, which adds up to 24 hours, three lots of eight, right? So this week I think I've done like probably like four, which means I still owe a lot of hours. Meaning today I'm going to go home and put in some more hours on the um, this job that I've got on the moment. It's only a small job, but that still means even if I put in like, you know, three, four hours for the rest of the day, I've still got a lot of hours to do in the rest of the week, which is fine. And the idea is, is that I start the week doing design work, get my 24 hours done, then I can do my journalism work, my activism, combine those into one um, yeah so that's the plan at the moment and then the plan is that by March that will be a good routine I'll be getting paid for things um, and I'll be off Centrelink end of March three months all right so let's see how that goes so the key to navigating Centrelink and navigating these um these private companies that act as middlemen and um, milk the system on well their own behalf is to know what they can offer you right you can get clothing out of them you can get extra support to buy materials and you can see psychologists you can milk them for all these sorts of things right um, which is good I think you can get a suit to go to an appointment. You can get all kinds of support like that. So use them for support, right? Now, the key is to minimize your obligations to them. Don't take any bullshit from them. Don't let them tell you that you need to be there five days a week for some course that they're offering. That's not mandatory, right? Speak to Centrelink, find out what your actual obligations are, and then do no more than that, right? Go out there and find yourself some work like it isn't hard to find work right uh, go and do that but don't let these fuckers milk you and the system for their own benefit you know they're getting paid to be there right so don't buy their shit when they come up and tell you that you need to do this job readiness course to work on your resume and stuff like that you know if you if you need that help fine milk them but don't go there five days a week you don't need five days to work on your resume or your interview skills and things like that you know these people are profiting from it and that's not cool 
it's a waste of money. Meanwhile, the government is picking on pensioners and it's picking on people actually, you know, who need the support, going back and telling them they owe tens of thousands of dollars. While these people who are being paid pretty hefty salaries are telling us lies, right? They're telling us little fibs about little things like that, but look, that all adds up, right? So don't let them screw you, right? You don't need to be there five days a week. Just take care of your own shit. And uh, yeah, don't buy theirs, right?